Hey, what's up, everyone? This is DEFCON 6. I'm USA versus France. Construction and this guy's got the map. And for some reason, I think this this guy was a lamer. I, I so I was like, I'm gonna wall. I think he might have engineered me or rushed me. I don't know. I think that's why I'm making walls here. So anyways, I'm gonna make a war war factory. One miner from war. Then grizzly tanks. Gotta find him in his worst bases. Look at all those three dogs in one spot. What the hell? Unit lost. Okay. So he's making a uh, airport before war factory. So you're thinking, okay, he's gonna make a cannon, one cannon, but big deal. I could um make enough grizz to kill him. I'm thinking, okay, okay. This, I'm thinking this guy's a noob right now. So I'm gonna keep one miner here and then. So I don't have to beam back all three miners just in case he puts up a cannon early. I'm just got a little bit of his base. Okay, there's a can that's the first cannon. He's got no war factory. I know he's already got racketeers. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna move this miner over here. Or to chase down. This this miner uh, and here's the funny thing about this map guy. If you remember, I said so in some of my videos, if you keep making a miner beam back, beam back, beam back, the allied corner miner, he's gonna lose money because he's not gonna get four scoops. But in this map, the miner could just basically change direction so easily. I know it's really bizarre strategy, but um, it, because like if he could go above me to the left to the right, and this he's totally surrounded by ore. I mean, I thought this guy was a noob. In your few minutes, you're gonna realize this guy's not a noob. So okay, that's my radar, and I'm definitely not selling the MTV. What's this France? I mean, oh, that'd be the stupidest thing you could do. Never sell MTV versus France ever. Unless for some reason you think you could just kill him right now. Right, well, what am I? Like I could sell the MTV, go to, for the MTV, but he, he would have a cannon, he'd have all, and he could make like four planes, smash rocketeers. I mean, you guys aren't used to um, playing somebody that knows what they're doing without a war factor. It's really uncommon. And look at this. Nothing for me to attack. See, if I go for the miner, the miner goes to the right. It goes above me. It goes below me. On the gems. He's making twice as so much money as me because he's got the better ore. I can't get the ore because he has a cannon and rocketeers. But I'm still going to yellow ore. I got three miners. But that one miner wasn't mine. I was like, oh crap. That's not good. Not a big deal, he's a noob, right? Right? He's a noob, right? Mm. I don't know. I know that one cannon on the left, I did not see it. It just, it almost killed me. And look how many racketeers he's got. One IRV versus that many racketeers, I don't know, man. I'm like, oh my god. Cancel that miner. I was gonna make a whole bunch of miners because I was like, oh, I need to tank bash this guy. So I'll start making miners and then get him a few minutes later. Like, oh my god. Okay, got one racketeer. I'm not gonna beat that many racketeers though. No matter how good I control shift. Okay, so it looks like okay, this guy's not this guy's annoying me. I'm still thinking that he's a noob when I was playing this game. I'm like, why is he just making cannons? Like he's not gonna make any tank. And I'm gonna try to pair drop right on top of that. For some reason I think I did it wrong. I noticed how the one cannon is protecting the other cannon. I want under the cannon. If you go directly under the cannon, it can't fire at you. It was like right, right, right under it. But the funny thing is, the can one cannon was protecting the other cannon, so that didn't matter. We gotta just make a regular Patriot missile. And um, if you guys, any of you played generals, regular generals for Command and Conquer. You, you see some strategy where they don't make a war factory and they make like a whole bunch of meeks with um fire upgrades. That's a totally different game. It's not related to this like at all. It's, it's the same Command and Conquer, but it's, it's not even Red Alert 2 or anything, but Red Alert or anything. But, um, it's kind of what he's doing now, but he's doing rock Rocketeers. I want to scout with that a dog to see if he has any power plants or anything in his original base, which he probably doesn't, but I got to find out for sure. No. Notice how he has a, um, I'm making a battle lab. Notice how he has, um, a, a war factory, but he's not making anything out of it yet. 
Unit so I'm like, okay, this guy's just gonna be right here, so I gotta do is kill the MCV and I go into a game. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna charge the MCV. Maybe bring one or two Rocketeers. I'm gonna bring one miner from Father. And the target is MCV, so I'm gonna make a an attack. Now, and I just bring back bring bring back the miner right before it dies. Okay, the miner's taking some hits. Now I'm gonna use the GIs. Now he moves his MCV, which is smart, so but I can still get it. So I'm gonna I'm like, whoa, he's running the MCV. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, he's really running the MCV. Okay, so I did get the MCV. And but, I, all I, but then he has tanks all of a sudden. This is the first time I've seen him with tanks, and he has six of them. All I got is IFVs because all he was making was Rocketeers. So like, I gotta make Rocketeers for his Rocketeers, and I gotta make some Mirage tanks. Well, I'm actually running low money now. This sucks. <laughs> I'm running low money. I only got three versus six Grizzly tanks. So I gotta use the pair dressers and pure self defense. But I want to mine on the right side, um, because because he's not all over the left side. He doesn't have his MCV, but gotta get that pillbox out for some defense. Bring some of these GIs over here to help out. Oh, he's got he's got a lot more grizzly tanks now. He doesn't have his MCV, but look, he's got a full army. I don't know if I'm gonna get a full scoop on there. Uh oh, he's got um, and my, and I shouldn't. I probably. I need more mirage tanks and not building fast enough. And I was like, okay, if he gets it, I might have to sell it or make a wall. I'm gonna fill it. Watch this. I fill that in with a. Fill that wall in with a pillbox. Repairing. Unit ready. This is gonna be close. Unit ready. And I didn't sell it. I didn't sell it. I thought that, for some reason, all the tanks fired from the same Unit position. Promoted. He got. I think he kind of got lucky because I thought I I blocked out part of the wall that he blown up. I should have remade the wall. Hmm. Oh my gosh. So I lost my SV, but all he he. So he's got. I got the same thing that he does really right now. But I got an ore purifier. He's got the gems. That's the difference. Destination commander. Unit ready. So I don't want to let him chase me off. No, I don't. I want to use my um. I want to use the um mirage tanks to beat his rhino tank and um, yeah to beat his grizzly tanks, but I don't want to use them for versus of cannons. I don't want to go because the mirage tanks are weaker than grizzly tanks versus cannons and base defenses. Yes, sir. Securing position. Unit ready. Select target. My pair dropped down there. Ready to roll. We gotta run these miners back. I don't want him to just to start blasting everything. Ready to roll. Bound for Ready to roll. It's, and he's giving me a difficult time for mining. I wish I would have bought a um, repair depot, honestly. I can add that I'd be able to make an MC right now, but if the game kept going, I would be able to. So I kind of downhill advantage with my. Mirage tanks and Mirage tanks have really good downhill advantage. The range is even better. And look how many um Rocketeers he has. Good thing I had that one Patriot missile, which is a help. And this is actually starting to get scary. I did not even see um that he had Grizzly tanks, and then he had six all of a sudden. If you see, as you seen a few minutes ago. And now he's he's the, I'm on the defense. So what the hell? He was on the defense. No, I'm on the defense. Unit ready. And he's making so many racketeers. This is really, really bizarre play. I don't know who this guy is, but he's he's doing noob tag this with a lot of skill. This is kind of crazy. But seriously, if this was a tournament game, I wanna, I wanna, um, I don't care if he was noob or not. I was, I'm just gonna come right away and I'm gonna do everything I have. But the fact that I was caught off guard, thought he was a noob, put me, put he was, put me behind, and I realized he's a good player doing a noob tactic. So I gotta repair some of these tanks. And maybe try to MG him. Oh god, he's got a lot of rocketeers. This is bad. If he goes for that war factory, I don't know if I can stop him. Okay, he got one of the refineries. Okay, he's just blowing up everything I have. Oh, but his strategy actually worked. What I should have done if I should have waypointed my engineer. I, my engineer and my IV to my own war factory. That would have been pretty smart. I didn't think of that actually. I thought of it extra and I was like, oh, 
But what he did is he made so many racketeers that even with my base defense, yeah, he could, he could still um, swarm it, but he has a lot of money. He's not gonna, he, see, he's on the gems. You don't see that many racketeers normally, guys. I mean, really. Because, like, really, um, he's got a real lot of money. I gotta try to engineer him. I have no choice at this point. I don't care if it's a lame tactic or not. I'm gonna lose the game 100% if I don't. I want to try to distract him just so I could get to engineering. Try to sneak up with some of these tanks with these mirage things and run away. That's a big distraction. Okay, now the distraction's working. He worked. He moved his his racketeers. Oh, didn't work right there. I didn't get it. Well, this guy's got really a lot of money. I do too, but I'm not. He stopped me from mining for the first few minutes that you see. I'm gonna get out. Since I might lose this airport, I might as well suicide my planes and get the the damn airport. Cause that's the thing that's killing everything I have, and I can't build anything. And remember, Mirage tanks are better not moving. Now I want to hit him and run. Now I can't even make infantry units at this point. This sucks. So it looks like a caught off guard. Hmm. You can't. I don't think he can make racketeers anyway. He, he lost his airport because of my plane. No, I, I just. I was like, dude, I'm not. I don't want to give up. I'm not. I'm not giving up. Screw. Screw this. It looks bad for me, but I'm not gonna give up. But he ran out of ore in the middle. That's my um chance. And look, I got eleven thousand dollars. They can't use it. That sucks. Ready to roll. Good to go. Ready to roll. Outstanding. So I'm actually like, I'm not. I don't want to. Really don't want to give up. High speed, low drag. It's quitting kind of sucks. Good to go. Even if you, I'd rather lose. I'd rather lose the game, and like kind of like. I rather really, put it this way. I'd rather blow something up and then lose the game rather than just quit. Look, something lagged right there. Okay, it went back to normal. Oh yeah, my tanks versus his tanks, you know my tanks will win. That's probably part of the reason why he made more racketeers than anything. Um, But honestly, I didn't realize he was making tanks like right until he did. And the second thing I didn't realize, after I lost my MCP, I didn't realize how many racketeers he was making. I knew he had a lot, but he must have clicked like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 racketeers all at once. Plus of his old rocketeers, and wow, he took on my MCV, my I mean my war factory, my airport, one of my refineries. Away, so I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna try to attack with my miners since my miners don't really do anything. I'm gonna try something here. Use my miners as taking the hits from the cannons and then do something. Now I got elite, ro uh, elite rocketeer. That's kind of what I wanted. Unit promoted. I mean elite, sorry, elite IFV. Unit lost. Not gonna get them back. Okay, I, I accomplished getting the elite uh, elite IFV and killing most of his grizzly tanks. I really wish I had at least a barracks, man. No, this sucks. It would have been a more interesting game if I had one war factory or a barracks with an airport. I think I could win. High speed, low drag. Securing position. But all I gotta do is harass with this IAV. On our way, sir. Bound forward. Good and now watch this guy. It, I call it a terrorizer because like it's basically the speed fire and firepower is just incredible. Watch this. Wham! Basically, he's so fast it's almost kind of like a speed and trying to dodge a speed and ball it. If you get elite, I that's a, one reason why people play Great Britain. Um. Um. England, Great Britain, whatever you want to call it, is because of the um, snipers and they get el elite IFVs faster. And I'm using a minus as fodder. He's attacking me right there. So I gotta bring this, this IFV back to protect my base. And I got an elite Grizz. And I was like, oh my god, if I could keep that Grizz. Ooh, I lost it. I only had it for a few seconds. And I was actually so mad. If I would have kept that elite Grizzly tank, I would have had elite Grizz and an elite IFV. That would have been awesome. And notice how he's running out of tanks. 
I want this thing to recharge. I'm gonna keep hitting and running. All you could do is make um GIs now. GIs and uh, I mean anything that GIs, dogs, engineers. But really, the only thing that's useful is GIs at this point. So all he's gonna make is GIs now. Because I took out this airport with my planes. This war victory with my elite IV. I was like, maybe I could harass over there. But this isn't gonna do much. Even if I kill a miner right there, it doesn't really ma it doesn't matter too much because he has enough to to um start jacking out um GIs. So this is crazy. Um, if I could, I I think I could hit and run just rocketeers right now. Well, because the cannons they take a minute to um to aim. I'm gonna get as little as possible before I get out of there. Ooh, and I accidentally went toting around. So I hit stop. I was like, okay, I one versus one this tank right here. Go ahead, one versus one me. And now I'm regenerating also. I could. He doesn't have any um strong units. I could win this game. So I really, really wish I had barracks at this point. Now I was like, I wish I had a war factor or a barracks plus airport. Now all I was like, if I just had a barracks, man, I could spam GIs. I was like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I almost messed up. And he's noticed how he's making engineers. So he actually, I was wrong, he actually did make engineers, new engineers. So if I could kill all just IFVs off, then I could beat this, this, this grizzly tanks by isolating them one by one. You could beat them one by one. And I'm being very careful. Oh, oh, oh my god, 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 oh my god. So, I, dude, if I, I could kill... Now I try to waypoint it and waypoint it back. Now he's gonna take that. Um, he's gonna take something with the engineer. I really don't care. I'm gonna let him have it. It's no. It basically doesn't matter at this point. So I didn't even try to stop him. I stop him now. If I could take this two grizzly tanks out. Now you got an elite grizz. That's fucking bad for me. So I'm gonna take out this guy. Oh, and that elite grizzly got me. I lost the game. If you didn't get an elite grizzly tank, and the a I, I probably I think the um.